Hello boys and girls, Ant here, and today we're playing Giga Wing, which, um, I mean, it's up in the top right corner. Can't really see it too clearly because I'm playing this on the Capcom Arcade Stadium and there's a whole bunch of menus in the way that don't go away until you press this button. Could have pressed that start. I've never played Giga Wing before, that's why I've chose it. I did quickly say on the Discord that, like, you know, what game should I play? But I only gave people, like, five minutes, to be fair. But if they suggest anything, we'll play them another week. But I am pretty sure I've never played this. I'm going to put five credits in. Let's see how far that gets me. Not very. I press start instead of the other button. Select is the start button. It says press start on the screen. Right. Let's see. This is a different fire type. Straightforward little attacks to the side. We've got some big old wormy things. That looks cool. Ruby, she looks dangerous. I, I like a nice wave attack. But I, I think I'm going to go with Isha. Whoever this is. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I've never played this before. <laughs> oh, that is flick of him. You wouldn't really notice that on a CRT. It keeps saying press start to skip, but... It's not, is it? Sky shivers in fear. This war cannot be avoided. The only thing that I can do is stand my ground and resist. If peace ever exists again, I... Okay. Right, well, B's regular shot. And why fires like crazy? Oh, this feels like a cave shoe. Is this developed by cave? This has got to be developed by cave. There's stuff flying around that I can collect. Right, what was that That thing? What was all that about? I don't know that about. I probably should have read the instructions. This is definitely a cave shooter, isn't it? It's got to be. Yeah, all that. If I hold down the B button, this happens. So, yeah. Okay. That plane seems to be the same type as mine. Why is that? Uh, it's probably your plane. Your plane from the future. Nah, that's a lot bigger than yours. What do you mean your same type as yours? You're crazy. <sighs> I moved to the left there. It's too much of this bullet's coming for me. That's what it is. So what are these collectibles I'm picking up? Just score things? I played a few shooters in my time where you collect stuff up. Oh yeah, we got a bomb. Should we use the bomb thing? Just see what it does. Oh, blimey. Jesus. Okay. That is gonna cause some video compression. <laughs> Whoop. It's not quite bullet hell, this. I can manage this. I mean, it's nowhere near bullet hell, really, is it? <laughs> Oh, let's get a P. Give me a P. Thank you. I like a good P. As mentioned, I, I asked on the Discord if anyone, if there's any games on this Capcom Arcade Stadium people would like me to play. Uh, go ahead and recommend on the Discord. There is a Discord. There's links on the chat. No one ever joins it. <laughs> it's quite a quiet Discord, really. There's a secret room on there for Patreon supporters, for people who support the, um, you know... Shit, I lost my peas. Give me both my pee. Um, there's a secret room just for Patreon backers, but I, you know, we've only got like three of us in there because there's not many Patreon backers. But that's fine. That's Patreon for the uh, Mellow Gaming Recommends episode, of which I am working on the next one. Oh god, I flew right into that, didn't I? And I just accidentally, I was holding down the Y button, so I've put my name entry in. But we get to continue because I put five coins in. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, we got the bomb thing. Let's collect up some power-ups. Oh, now we're, gee, now we're firing rockets off. I like that. Ah, look, that absorbs bullets. Okay. I'm figuring this out. Like I said, never played this before, so cut me some slack. Yeah, just get over yourself with your knowledge. Oh, this is a boss. I was playing another one on here, um, on this collection called Varth. That's one I'd never played before. Uh, that was awesome. Varth is good stuff. Um, and Pro Gear is pretty great as well. There's a lot of good shooters on this collection, to be honest. I probably shouldn't have brought the whole collection. Um, I don't know why I did. <laughs> I'm still jobless. It's a silly thing to do. Right, do that. There you go. Look, you're absorbing them, and then all these shields come for you. I don't know what this does. 
I can dodge bullets. I'm good at that. Let's do this. Yeah, I beat the boss. This is like... Some, oh god, I haven't beaten the boss. This is... <laughs> some feels somewhat easy for your average arcade schmup. I just I say that as I die. Good for me. I can, I'm going to hold this down again because that's cool. I like when that happens. Now we're getting a bit bullet helly. This is feeling a little bit like uh, my Ikaruga training is coming in. Oh, I should avoid that. It's blocking onto me. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're going to get through my continues, I think. <laughs> Still got that. I've got another bomb, haven't I? Should we use another one? Let's use another one. I want to get someone. I want to get to stage two. Oh, Jesus. Is that it? Is him dead? Is him dead? That's the sentence. I need to get pulled around again. We keep meaning to play through some games on the belt scrolling beat em up collection. Some of the games are in this as well. Um, there's some crossover between those two collections. But you know, you want to play those two player. They're not as much fun on your own. If you manage to survive, I bet if I defeat. if I, I'll be defeated if I relax my concentration. If I'm sure. Okay. There you go, this is more like it. Waves of this is the sort of waves of enemies I can handle. Ooh, power up. Ooh. I'm sure this is developed by Cave, I'm gonna have to check. This I mean all this just gold shit flying around that you collect. That's what I associate with their shoot 'em ups. Is that one I had Death was it Death Smiles? Trigger Heart Excelica. Was that a cave shooter? I don't think it was. That was a good one though. And I had um, Raiden 5 was really well done. I had that on, um, you can get that on Switch now. I had that on PS4. I had a physical copy of it. Pff, I thought that was the enemy missiles for a sec. Give me all that. I do like a good shmup. And I'll use the term shmup even though it upsets people nowadays. Ooh, this is flashy. I've got no bombs. Oh jeez. <laughs> I'm playing um, In the Hunt as well as a nice one. You can get that on Switch. It's a sort of submarine based one. Oh god. Right, I'm going to put my put my initials in this time. You're not going to rob me out of a high school. We've still got some continues left. I put five in and we're actually making progress. Three left. Give me all that. There you go. Give me more missiles. I don't even know how I'm dodging the bullets that are coming out, to be honest. I'm guessing it's because this is one of those games where you have a tiny little hitbox. Which is the only reason you ever survive some of these bullet hell games. Uh, every time I say I'm surviving... Do that. Yeah, usually, like, your hitbox on a, on a shmup is only the size of a pea. It's usually like the cockpit in the ship or something, and that's the actual, the only part where you'll get damaged. Well, did something there. The trick is, I say as I get blown up, <laughs> the trick is to not ever do anything I say. Yeah, the trick is to not do anything I say. <laughs> Now the trick is to watch your ship, not the enemy bullets. Just concentrate on dodging between them. Or use bombs whenever you feel like it. Also ABS, always be firing. I need to get sitting and recording more footage for the next MG recommend. Seeing such cruelty brings nothing but pain to the heart of any... I'm not skipping that. It just gives you half a second to read it. Oh, we got a minute. It's a boss time. Wah. I pressed the bomb button. Don't give me that. Give me that power up. Give me that. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Don't know what that does. Right. <laughs> I know it absorbs, but Jesus Christ. Okay, I was saying this felt kind of easy for your average shmup. But, uh,. I am not lasting long anymore. Give me those power-ups. 
and let me bomb you. There you go, we beat your boss. And it wasn't just because I spammed the bombs. Shot down 95% of the enemies. Look at how many points you get. That's how you know you're really good at the game when there's loads of points. That lake. When I came here as a child, there was no place as beautiful as this. Now it has become a battlefield. I wonder if I'll ever be able to see it again. Even... Oh, trains. I like shooting trains. Gives me a feeling of power that we don't get in the UK too often over trains. Oh god, this is moving too fast and there's too much stuff on the screen. I can't concentrate. <laughs> Give me the peas. Give me the peas. Take that, Southwest trains. I crashed into that. I've got no continues left. I died. I'm not doing good. I told you that. Was that 10 minutes even? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I, I didn't get on the high score at the end. I said we do five continues. They all went in the last few seconds. There's Metal Eric. How are you doing, Metal Eric? He's alright. He's a good lad. He, do he likes his tokusatsu. I'll show you some of the things on it. Like Pro Gear. This is a game to look out for. That game's fantastic. I've never played that before. I had a good old time with that. Where's Gigawing? I want to check uh, who developed this. Oh, yeah, you can switch to the Japanese version. I should have put it on the Japanese version so I'd look cooler. Uh, is there anything that tells you who made it? Because I want to. I want to look like I'm really clever by being able to identify a cave shooter. <laughs> Doesn't say anything. Who's whatever? I don't know. I'll look it up. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen if it's made by Cave. Probably is. Probably made by someone else. This collection's all right though. The only thing I'd say is bothering me is that the arcade cabinets themselves are just like generic cabinets, and you can like you can go into them, and you can customize the cabinets, so you can put like different cabinets in there. But they're not the cabinets the games came in, which seems a bit pointless. You get, you know. Like, I feel like they should have put the actual arcade cabinets in there. But I don't know, maybe they have to pay for art and stuff and... You know, they don't want to do that. Mega Twins is on here, though. Sorry, wrong name. Cheeky Cheeky Boys is on here. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I'll catch you next week. I've got to do a, a video, I guess. Um, I got, I'm going to sit down tomorrow and try and record another Transformer review for that side channel I've got that, like, nine people are sub to. Whatever. It's just a thing I'm doing in my spare time, because I've got a lot of it recently. Because I'm unemployed. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye!